Every single holiday has themes that run through it. And of course, Perm is no different. And these themes are there not just as to tell us a story of what happened way back when, but for us to take lessons and a message even for today. And Purim is certainly no exception to the rule. But there is one theme in Purim that I think gets overlooked. And that's the fact that Purim is the time where the Jewish people re-accepted the Torah. When we accepted the Torah way back when at Har Sinai, so it was forced upon us, we had no choice. The Gemara in Shabbos explains to us that Akash Baruch Hu held the mountain overhead, hard kagigis like a barrel, and he said to us, if you accept the Torah muta, fantastic. But if not, I'm going to drop this barrel, this mountain on top of you, and you're going to die. So I have no choice but to accept it. But now, in the story of Purim, the Megillah says, Kimu v'kiblu ha-Yehudim. The Jews re-accepted, and Rashi explains, the Gemara explains, and Rashi explains further, is that this was a re-acceptance of the Torah, but this time out of Ava, out of love. And the question is, what is it? What is the common denominator between the acceptance of Purim and the acceptance of Harsinai? And why is this one out of love and that one forced? So if you take a look, the content out of the air, I think is obvious. And that is achdus, unity amongst the Jewish people. We know famously, that the Jewish people dwelled around Har Sinai as one person, one heart. And there's a tremendous unity. And because of that, that was the prerequisite to receiving the Torah. And in the time of Perm, there's no difference. We we're up against the wall and we unified together and fought our way out of it. And the things that we do nowadays on Purim, is to remember that sense of unity, create that sense of unity. For example, we wear our, our costumes. We take off our clothes. This is an interesting custom that we have. And we put on costumes because on Purim, it doesn't matter how I dress or how I look. I'm going to put on my mask and I'm just a Jew. I'm nothing else. And then I go out and give my Tano Slevyonim money to the poor. And whether you're, you're from this class or that class, today you're my brother and I'm helping you out. And then we sit by the Purim Sud, and we have a Geshmak time together, and people drink Adil Yada, Ar Haman Baruch Mordechai. They don't know the difference between cursing Mordechai Haman and blessing Mordechai. And the idea is, I don't care what type of Jew you are. You're always keeping all the mitzvahs, you're a Baruch Mordechai, or you're Ar Haman, you're not a person who yet is keeping everything. It doesn't matter. Today, Adil Yada, I don't know the difference. I'm inviting you all into my Suda to join me. And of course, last but certainly not least, Mishloch Manos, I go out and I send gifts to all the people. It says the Manos Levi, specifically the people who are not your closest friends, to create this sense of unity. When we you want to accept the Torah, the Kimu and Kiblu HaYehudim, we need to create this sense of unity. Imagine for a moment you had one piece of paper in front of you, easily ripped. But if you take a whole stack of paper, no one can rip that. That's what the Jewish people are. When we're standing alone, we can rip us. The Hamans of the world can get to us. But we stand unified together. No one can rip us apart. This past week, I was thinking about this. I was traveling back from America. And right before we all got onto the plane, someone says, Mariv, Mariv, and starts rushing by the gate of Mariv Minion. But this was the most beautiful Minion I've ever seen in my life. The one who was leading us was the Svardi in the Kippa Suga. And standing next to him were Hasidim dressed like this, and Ashkenazim, American, and Israelis, and all over. In a time of where we're uncomfortable, so we're all okay to unify together. And that is what was the difference between Har Sinai and the story of Purim. We had the comfort, the security blanket by Har Sinai of being by Hashem. We didn't realize how much we needed one another. But by the story of Purim, where our backs were against the wall, we realized, I need my brother and my sister, and I don't care how you dress, and I don't care what class you're in, I don't care how many mitzvahs you do or don't do in terms of my unity with you, we're brothers. We're gonna be a big, big group of paper that no one can get to us. And that should be our goal this perm. Our goal this perm should be that no matter what you put on your mask, your friend puts on his mask, it doesn't matter anything else. Besides that, we're Jews. And when we unify together, Amir Tashem, this perm will be a true acceptance of a Torah and a Torah lifestyle that will lead us to the next stage. Everyone have a fantastic day and Purim Sameach.